Hi everyone! This is the week that we dedicated to the band. Let's Zeppelin! Yes! So, there is a song, No Quarter, and this is from the album Houses of the Holy, 1973. And you know, you know, you know this song? You know? Do you know? Do you know? Or you don't know? You never heard? Of course you heard, but maybe you hear for teacher because I'm a very serious professional teacher. Yes, I have a piece of paper that's saying whatever I want to say because you know, nowadays I can print whatever I want. And you just need to believe me because if you're not gonna believe, we're not gonna have a deal because it's like the same if you're complaining and this is our rule. We're not complaining here. Yes. So let's go. You know what? You know what? There is just the beginning of the song, but I can say that drums is what we are making Led Zeppelin songs, Led Zeppelin songs. It's elevating the songs of Led Zeppelin, but in the credits you often will see that song written by John Paul Jones, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page, or Robert Plant and Jimmy Page, like, and what? Robert Plant, you wrote the drums? I mean, why are they doing it? For some reason, they decided to write a credits in every song for only like songwriters, but it's a band. It's a band. And they, in that very room or in the rehearsing process, creating together. You got it, right? Yeah, it was just a minute of the song.
Okay, you think I need to buy a vinyl record of this album. I really like that cover. You know, vinyl records, to be honest, not like about listening it every day, right? Maybe some people, of course, using it every day, but let's be honest, we streaming music nowadays but cover as an art i actually really like alien mermaids creature in the mars very very cool it gives me desire to like think about it as an art and i love when covers is not what is the attitude light you have don't you see you actually have a, a normal light or what what is going on like Very weird. So their no quarter actually means something here, okay? No quarter is a pirate phrase meaning no mercy. And it can be also reference to the United States Revolutionary War when Great Britain enforced a policy requiring colonial Americans to house British soldiers and offer them a food and bed during the winter, you know, cold. Mm -hmm. And so if this policy will be refused to British soldiers, another policy called no quarter will allow the British soldiers to do a punishment to Americans. <laughs> keyboards that piano stood out here so john paul jones usually playing bass he is bassist slash keyboardist and here he has that spotlight on piano showed these skills on piano and i generally really love how they match in everything like you don't hear interruption everything's so balanced and also it's damn psychedelic it's so like whoa 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 hypnotized hypnotic and psychedelic is something very similar to me they from the same type of things something what's taking you from your daily routine and gives you just another mood you switching topic you know <laughs> Thank you. 
So there is a thing I want to read for you because it's interesting fact. This song became a title track of their 1964 Page and Plant reunion and they called album No Quarter. Jimmy Page and Robert Plant unleaded an acoustic set by the duo recorded during their concerts for an MTV special. On the 1995 DVD release, the song No Quarter opens the set. Their unleaded project was the first time Page and Plant has collaborated in 14 years and was the closest they come to reviving Led Zeppelin. So, the thing is that they choose to name the project after a song much associated with their basis was not appreciated by John Paul Jones, whose biggest complaint was that he was kept out of the loop. John found out from the business associate that Page and Plant were working together, but he assumed they were doing new songs. He was on tour in Germany when he saw the MTV concert and realized that they were doing Led Zeppelin songs. When the band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Jones took a jab at Page and Plant, saying during the ceremony, I'd like to thank you, my friends, for finally remembering my phone number. So it's kind of, you know, gives uh, me some uh, aftertaste. His piano work is so important in this song. I wouldn't appreciate this either in his place. So I just want you to know this kind of song facts because we have a serious class. We have some information here. Yes, I don't know if you know this or not. But there is a people who don't know, so no complain, okay? Actually, I know that maybe you guys are gonna tell in the comments. The tool covered this song and it was epic. And if you're gonna mention this in the comments, I will know that you didn't watch the video until the end and you kind of like a pooper. Yes, I really love this song from all this Led Zeppelin catalog, even though the general Led Zeppelin songs, they always have this signature timeless sound, I still will say that this particular song has some specific vibe, like cooler. Sometimes there is songs like pure sexiness, or pure like chilling energy but this one gives me something like i want to drive convertible <sighs> and i'm like picturing 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 all this beautiful scenery okay guys see you next time say hello to your parents if you're gonna be a not good good boys i'm gonna call them Mwah. bye bye